Because it's on your nose or on your face, the, the thing that you really think about is how you're going to look. And you couldn't even see where it was the last time, so no problem. Most surgery in Australia is performed by dermatologists. In essence, it's an accurate and precise technique for removing tricky non-melanoma skin cancers, anywhere on the face where cosmesis is important or when sort of tissue conservation for other reasons is important. It's a day procedure where the tumour is removed layer by layer. Processing occurs of the specimen. The pathology is, is confirmed on the spot in real time whilst the patient waits, where it's analysed under a microscope for the accurate confirmation of tumour removal prior to reconstruction. It alleviates any of that anxiety about you know, the results going to confirm clearance. And we have that certainty on the day of surgery. It's the highest success rate of any treatment for non-melanoma skin cancer. The likelihood of, of no recurrence is 99% for basal cell carcinoma and in the order of about 97% for squamous cell carcinoma. So this is not Ray's first skin cancer. On this occasion, he had a basal cell carcinoma on the nose and it was ill-defined, so it was hard to see the edges. And so that's why sort of the Mohs technique was chosen to treat that. So there's just some coverings going over here now. Yeah, no, it's okay. And as you're aware, this first stage really doesn't take too long at all. It was more extensive than what was visible, and so with the technique of nose, I was able to map out where that corresponded to his nose and take a small extra layer, and that confirmed clearance. I walked in here at 7.30, and it's 11.30 now, and it's all over Red Rover, so it's, I reckon that's pretty good. You know, I'll go home and put my feet up, and then come back in a week's time to have another look at it. That's just really simple. It's never too early to start sun protecting and it's also never too late. You know, some people I find do feel, well, I've done the damage and that's simply not the case. So at any age, improving sun protection is something that we could all look to.